Hello and welcome back to NAS Compares and today I want to talk about the difference between these two NAS, the 253B and the 253BE, why the price difference and why is QNAP re-released them. So let's get started. Okay, so those that aren't aware, the QNAP TS253B was released about a year ago now, give or take. And when this device was first announced, it was kind of a real trailblazer. It had all kinds of features on it that QNAP had pioneered previously. And when it was released, a lot of you out there were a little bit put off by that price tag. The device itself um, arrived, uh, even the two bay, at around the four five hundred pounds mark, which for a two bay was pretty high indeed. I mean, it featured great things though. It featured an SD card reader. It featured that quick access port on the front, giving you real time access uh, via USB. It gave a PCIe slot on the rear. It supported a dual um, HDMI ports there on the rear. And the device had that CPU, the Intel J series, and of course that new remote uh, included too. So there were lots of ways in which this was a real groundbreaking NAS device. But so many of you out there were slightly put off by that price and a few of you went for the uh, models underneath. Now QNAP did listen, not just with this, but with this popular 7.3 series, and have started kind of breaking down their models into a little bit more of a cost-effective manner because the reason that there's now two versions of this now is because there's a lot of features that a number of you out there just didn't use in the B. The one at the top there has got several features that just aren't available. Um, you know, in, in a grand scheme of things to you, the home user, you don't want to utilize HDMI. You don't really, you don't really have the NAS in a means that you can access that USB port on the front. So what happened is QNAP and their boffins got together and produced um, a modified, more cost-effective version of that B-series model. Which brings us to our main question, what is the difference between the 253B and the 253BE? Now this does apply to the 4-bay model as well, the 453B and the 453BE, but the differences are as follows. First and foremost, the price. You've probably seen that before you've watched this video. There is definitely a big price difference between these two devices here. And that's not just on the base model, at the lowest RAM, but even the maximum memory model for both. Second big difference, the RAM, as already mentioned. The BE series model arrives in a 2 gig and 4 gig uh, DDR3 memory version. Um, sorry, the BE. The original B arrived at 4 gig or 8 gigs. If you didn't think you were going to utilize 4 gig of memory, it does make this other unit more appro uh, appealable to you. Another big difference between them, that SD card reader on the front. So many people out there got the device and didn't see the point of the SD card reader. I personally disagree. I think an SD card reader is very useful indeed. If you're going to be taking photos and video, if you're not using your mobile phone, then definitely utilizing a camera will mean having an easy way to upload the photos that you've taken from that SD card slot. But not all of you agree with me, and that's why on the BEE model, QNAP removed the SD card slot. Another big, big feature missing from the BEE model that a number of you out there love the idea of, but never used, was that USB quick access port. The new version of the BE has removed not only the SD card slot, but also that quick access port over USB 3. So the BE model doesn't have that facility. But in every other regard, it's still the same NAS. It's got the same CPU, it's got the same type of RAM, and it has that PCIe upgrade slot for those QM2 cards and more, as well as the dual HDMI, USB 3 throughout, LCD screen, the works. It's all on there, and the audio ports, and the, microphone, and the speaker on the rear. It's still a great NAS, but now, with a few of those features stripped away, and of course, the last feature, the remote control removed, the BE model is far more approachable. I believe the two gig model right now is going for about 320 to 330 pounds, an enormous drop from the B model. So the BE right now is definitely the more cost-effective version, and definitely for those people out there that one, have no intention of inter um, interacting with the NAS in a direct manner. So that's SD card slots, that direct quick access port, and the remote control. This is, if you're utilizing it for network access for things like Plex, Apple Time Machine backups over the network, surveillance, and more, the BE is gonna be considerably more appealing to you. But if you've got any more questions about comparisons between NASs, this is NAS Compares with the guys to ask. So do let me know in the comments. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click like. Right, this channel exists on your support, so I need to know that you're enjoying it. Let me know down there in the comments, but otherwise do check me out at the blog, and I'll speak to you soon.